Hello, dear students. We learn pronouns in this episode. Page number 12 and 13 in your workbook. This is one of the important chapters, though it is a small chapter. Page number 12 and 13. You have pronoun activities in your workbook. There will be a formal question on this topic. Let us read examples given in your workbook first. Then we'll go thoroughly to understand pronouns. We'll understand the rules and different types of pronouns we have in English. Let me read this example to you. I hope you will refer this to, you will refer your workbook along with me. Basavaya is a Kannada poet. He has written several poems. Many of his poems have been translated into other Indian languages. He himself has translated some of them into English. You must have observed here the words he, his and himself are pronouns and these refer to Basavaya and now. So basic understanding is this pronoun is used in the place of a noun or referring to a noun, avoiding the repetition of a noun. Basavaya is a Kannada poet. Basavaya has written several poems. Many of Basavaya's poems have been translated into Indian, other Indian languages. Basavaya himself has translated some of them into English. If you don't use a pronoun, the paragraph reads like that, like that. So read the following extract and understand how the personal pronoun work and then what how they are used differently to different people and the thing. Let us see that first. Lata was on her annual visit. Lata, subject, noun, was on her annual visit to her uncle's house. She always enjoyed, she always enjoyed it because she was allowed to spend most of the day in the mango grove. Lata's uncle was a friend of the owner of the grove who allowed the children to play there. The branches of the trees were covered with so many fruits that they almost touched the ground with the weight. They spent hours picking the fruit, eating most of it, and sleeping. Dear students, we must observe here the replacement of a pronoun. Lata is a subject. She refers to Lata. Here in the second sentence, she always enjoyed it. It refers to animal visit. Her refers to, once again, to Lata. So, the children, Lata's uncle was a friend of the owner of the grove who allowed the children, the children, to play there. The branches of the trees were covered with so many fruits that they almost touch the ground with the weight. They refers to branches. The children, they refers to children. They spent hours picking the fruits. They spent hours picking the fruits. Here they refers to children. It refers to fruit. So, there are many pronouns 
than we normally use in our regular regular speech or spoken language so let us see what are they how they can be used the list is actually given here but they have not been classified i we they you he she it myself himself herself yourself themselves reflexive pronouns i we they you he she it personal pronoun one anyone anyone anybody somebody each either neither who whose whom which when do we use them what do we call them in grammar and we will see that in next slides there are more examples we'll come back to these examples after going through certain rules which we can apply in using pronoun so dear students pronouns are words that take the place of noun lata she now on the example note will be lata she she refers to lata fruits it it refers to fruits so they take the place of noun we often use them to avoid repeating the nouns that they refer to i read out a paragraph to you basavaya 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 in order to repeat the noun the usage of noun we use a pronoun so pronouns have a different forms for the different ways we use them children they refer to children in that paragraph the branches they almost touch the grounds they refer to the branches so we use it in a different form children they is referred to children they is referred to the branches so we use pronoun in place of a noun as i mentioned before i you he she it we you they these are personal pronouns in the subject me you him her it us you them these are personal pronouns in object she told me she told me she told me object comes after the verb she told me so we have both subject pronouns and object pronouns subject pronouns do the work of a verb object pronouns do the work of a object or the subject so let us see we use subject pronouns as a subject of verb i like your dress i it does the work of verb you are late he is my friend it is raining she is on holiday we live in england they come from london so it does the work of a subject of a verb we use subject pronouns as the subject of a verb it does the work of a subject and what subject does i like so your dress we use object pronouns as the object of a verb can you help me help me can you help me i can see you it comes after the verb the pronoun that comes after the verb is the object of the verb and that is what we call object pronoun if you don't understand any of these things if i am not clear then you remember only these things 
ಆ ಯು ಹಿ ಶಿ ಇಟ್ ವಿ ಯು ದೇ ಮೀ ಯು ಹಿಮ್ ಹರ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಸ್ ಯು ದೆಮ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಸನಲ್ ಪ್ರೋನೌನ್ಸ್ ವಿ ಯೂಸ್ ಪ್ರೋನೌನ್ ಆಫ್ಟರ್ ಎ ಪ್ರಿಪೋಸಿಷನ್ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಶಿ ಈಸ್ ವೇಟಿಂಗ್ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಫಾರ್ ಮೀ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ಗೆಟ್ ಇಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು give it to him give it to him so him is understood to whom it is to be given so he she it i we you they these are all personal pronouns we use he or him to refer to men she or her to refer to women when you are not sure if you are referring to or talking about a man or women we use it we use they we use them this is jagan look at this example this is jagan he is my brother he refers to jagan i don't think you have met him him refers to jagan this is jagan he is my brother he refers to jagan i don't think you have met him him refers to jagan this is sheila she is my sister have you met her before she refers to sheila her refers to sheila you could go to a doctor they might help you there is not immediate replacement of a singular noun but it refers to the doctor in general talk to a friend ask them to help you not a singular replacement but in general so we use he she it in this sense we use you to talk about people in general including the speaker and the listener for example you can buy this book everywhere this book is on sale everywhere so that you can buy you refers to whom people in general you may be referring to anybody for that matter you can't park here not just one person or anybody it is in general because it is not allowed it is prohibited to park there no uh, in the same way we use they and them to talk about institutions and organizations they serve good they serve good food here the restaurant people they refer to the restaurant people ask them for a cheaper ticket them that refers to airline bus transport whatever so especially with the government authorities we say like this they don't let you smoke in here the government won't let you to smoke in here so they are going to increase taxes we were referring to government they are building a new motorway we are referring to the government they are not necessarily in the sense of a plural of a singular but it is used in the general in that particular sense it we use it to talk about ourselves on the telephone sometimes we say hello it is george when the other pers people cannot see us it's me it's mary mary is knocking the door for example and you are behind the door you would not see who you ask it's me it's mary so likewise friends these are used personal pronoun we have seen possessive pronouns my your his her its our their the dog is mine 
the cat is yours remember we do not use apostrophe in case of uh, or in use of uh, personal pronouns yours no apostrophe so you can see that way who whose is also a possessive pronoun whose coat is this whose book is that whose pens are those so we have seen personal pronoun and we have seen possessive pronouns let us see demonstrative pronouns this these this these this that these those this is a nice cup of tea whose shoes are these this is janet these are my friends so demonstrative pronouns that those this that these those so let us see reflexive pronouns ourselves yourselves themselves myself yourself herself himself itself ourselves ourselves yourselves themselves these are reflexive pronouns but you must remember we do not use a reflexive pronouns for the things that we normally do for ourselves should do for ourselves you might cut yourself an example you must cook yourself i am teaching myself to play the piano you do not say i do shave myself i do bath bathe myself i do bathe myself you do take bath yourself that is something should be done by you i cook food for myself it's not a mandatory thing it can be done by somebody else to you so you are specifying then in that way so we do not use a reflexive pronoun after verbs which describe things people usually do for themselves i washed in the cold water i always shaved before going to in the going out in the evening i always shaved myself no so reflexive pronouns are used in that particular sense so everybody indefinite pronouns everybody everyone no one someone every anything everything nothing something so these are very indefinite then we see relative pronouns i am not going to uh, uh, explain everything here because we are going to do the exercises next along with the exercises we learn the relative pronouns are those uh, we use who which that who whom whose which whose that these are relative pronouns so let us see Lochan, who is seventy-six, has just retired. Who refers to Lochan? This is the house which Jivan built, which refers to the house. Mary Curie is the woman that discovered radium. So we use who and whom for people, which for things. that for people are things so let us come back to the workbook activities and 
with these uh, things in brief and uh, understanding the brief uh, idea of this may help you to solve the questions what do the words uh, in italic in the following paragraph uh, refer to paragraphs refer to once upon a time once upon a time a poor woman was walking from the village to another another carrying a bundle on her head her refers to woman a poor woman unable to lift it easily it refers to a bundle she rested every now and then she refers to the old woman the woman requested him a horseman passed by the woman requested him to carry the bundle on a horseback till the next village him refers to a horseman or the horseman he refused saying you will walk slowly and delay me and i have a long way to go you refers to the old woman delay me me refers to a horseman i refers to horseman you can see the substitute a replacement of a pronoun in place of a noun an old woman and a horseman and for the objects in the sentence let us see another example an old man came to the farm the owner of the farm and his wife needed a person exactly like him an old woman came to the farm the owner of the farm and his wife his refers to his wife owner's wife needed a person exactly like him him refers to an old man he was well versed in agriculture after his arrival he refers to the old man the farm uh, uh, their fa their income improved dramatically they refers to the owner and owner's wife the owner became lethargic and shed away from hard work his wife owner's wife found all this very strange her husband's life style had changed her refers to the owner's wife so dear students we have examples like this to understand pronoun you know we have examples like this in our workbook to understand pronouns let us see the last one every household every household every household holds these those little things that look like look and feel old as a kid had several of them i had several of them there is a tiny bag of, of used crayons brought when i was four dad believed in junking them and they almost did end up in the in the trash they help me remember a childhood of dreams and vivid imagination so i leave this example to you find out what do the italic words what do these pronouns replace and what do they refer to and write it back to me okay until then bye and see you in uh, in the next episode to come take care